Hi there, welcome to Jujube DIY. I'm Sarah. We're making some bee decor, so let's get started. For this first DIY, I'm gonna take one of these hexagon um, shelf sitters that were at the Dollar Tree. It said Inspire on the front, but I just gave it a coat, actually two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in white. And then I marked off about an eighth of an inch all the way around. Now I'm gonna go in with the Waverly chalk paint in the color steel, and I'm going to paint that whole outside edge gray. And I'm just using a flat paintbrush to paint that in, and I'll give it two coats. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit larger of a paintbrush. I think this is about a quarter inch flat, and I'm going to paint in some of these yellow checks. So I'm going to kind of eyeball the space and just create a little area in between each of those yellow marks. So while I'm painting these in, I'm gonna give you guys a quick life update. Uh, I had gone to the beach and enjoyed a wonderful, relaxing vacation with some of my very close friends. We do this every year, it is a girls weekend, and it is just lovely. Um, I got back and I am the booster president for my kids' school. So we were doing a teacher appreciation week and uh, we always do lunch every day and breakfast for our teachers and the staff at our school. So it's a very busy week. Um, and unfortunately during that week, my mom had gotten sick. Uh, she ended up with shingles and it did end up in her eye. So we ended up in the hospital uh, just for an afternoon to get that all taken care of but she got on um, all the right antibiotics and everything that she needed to in order to get better and she's doing much better now, so thankful for that. Um, and then I got really sick and I literally have never been so sick in my life. I kept testing for, um, you know, that nasty virus that's going around and it kept coming back negative so I don't know exactly what it was, but it had me out for about a week. And um, so I'm just now getting back into the swing of things, but I am so happy to be back. So this real quick is a little wood piece. I had been looking for a place to buy some little wood pieces in different shapes. And I came across this site called 24 Hour Crafts. And I have been so pleasantly uh, pleased with the quality of the wood um, that's coming from them. Uh, their prices are super reasonable and you can order a lot of the different things in multiple different sizes. Like you saw that honey pot, um, I have it in two different sizes and I could order a variety of sizes. And it's really cool too because not only they give you the height of the project or product, but they also give you the width, which a lot of places don't do that. So you've got a good idea as to how big it is and you can order it. Um, some pieces you can order in different thicknesses from I think an eighth of an inch up to a half an inch or something. Anyhow, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just had come across them and I thought it was a good deal. Uh, so I wanted to share with you guys and I will actually leave a link down below. Um, and if you wanna go check out their site or buy anything from them, you can use that link. And basically all it does is kind of gives me like points that I can use towards a uh, different product. So you kind of get like a point, it's like a point system. Um, and you can do that too. You can share your own link to whoever you want to share it with. And then if somebody buys from your link or whatever, then you get the point. So it's kind of um, a pretty cool deal. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. So back to our project here, that B paper I had picked up from Hobby Lobby and I cut it down um, so that it fit inside my area there. So I just traced the hexagon on the paper and then cut it an eighth of an inch shorter so that it would fit in there and I just glued it down with a glue stick. Then I went around the edges with a black pen and created some little fun lines just to add some whimsy and some more interest to it. Now I'm gonna take my black paint pen and I'm gonna go around my little honey pot that I had picked 
um, not picked, but <laughs> painted gray with the steel gray. And then I'd left the little honey falling out of the side there in the yellow. And then I'm just gonna add some of these cute little details that I like to add on to my decor um, with those paint pens, a black and white paint pen. So I just spelled out the word honey and I am going to just marker that in with my paint pen. So I have these little picks um, from, I think they're in the garden area at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna take the little stake off the back of it. And then I will use a white gel pen to write in, oh, honey, honey on there. And then I created a little bee on there too. And now we're just gonna assemble our little piece. So I'm gonna put some hot glue right on the back of my little honey pot there. And then I'll add a little bit of uh, glue to the back of the other sign here. And I'll just kind of attach that right to the top. And that really just completes this project. It's perfect for a tear tray or just on a shelf where you want some little bee decor. I love how this turned out. I think it is super cute. So today I'm so excited because I am partnering with Lisa Kennedy from Dollar Mom. She is such an awesome crafter. I have loved her style and design for so long. And I finally decided to ask her if she wanted to collaborate with me. And she said, yes, she is so gracious, so nice. And her crafts are so cute. And I think that if you like my crafts, you're gonna love her stuff. So I hope that you'll go check her out. I will link her stuff in my description down below. Definitely go check her out because you're gonna love her stuff. For this DIY, we're gonna use one of these 12 inch wood rounds from the Dollar Tree. These were such a great deal. I saw them once at my Dollar Tree and then they were gone. So if you can't find uh, these at the Dollar Tree, you can find wood rounds in all kinds of places, including 24 hour crafts. So again, I'll leave that link down below. This here is a plaid product that I picked up at Walmart and I just thought that these little honeybees on this hive were so cute. So to get started with our honeybees here, I'm going to kind of mark off the middle there and then I'm going to section off the wings. So I'm just going from that wing um, in an angle up towards that center line and then I kind of do it from the top too, but then I change my mind here and I decide that I'm just going to round off the head and you'll see when I paint on the wings what I mean by that. So I'm going to paint my hive this yellow from folk art i will leave everything that i use in my description box down below i'm using just a few simple paint colors today and i'm keeping the paints all the same pretty much so it's all cohesive and goes together well so i'm going to paint the head of my bee and if you hadn't noticed from the earlier from the last project i am kind of doing a different theme with my bees this is kind of like a neutral coloration I guess instead of the black and bright yellow that you would normally see with the bees um, doing the gray and kind of a more soft yellow and I just thought that that was a really nice way to do the honey bee decor so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint the head and these stripes and then I'll go in and do the yellow stripes now for the wings I wanted to give them kind of that you know wings are see-through but i thought well let's paint them blue because that kind of looks nice so i went with this nice soft blue and i think that it matches the yellow or complements the yellow and the gray very nicely So now that my bees are completely dry, I'm gonna go in with a pencil and I'll just kind of make off a middle mark here. And then I was looking at pictures of bees and I noticed that their wings have these very intricate looking 
um, marks in them. And I guess that's just kind of how the wings are made. But I kind of wanted to replicate that on these bees. So I'm just making these shapes that are kind of irregular and um, kind of organic. And you can see that a little bit closer here. Now I'm gonna go in with my black paint pen and I'm going to add in those fun little details that I just love to add on all my projects. I used a pencil to freehand a welcome to our hive and I'm going to use the black paint marker to fill that in. So if you don't want to hand letter here, you can use a vinyl if you have a cutting machine or you can use stickers, stencils, um, rub on transfers. There's all kinds of ways to add letters to your projects, but I have just been embracing my hand lettering lately and I've been working on trying to make it better so I really love how this came out I just kind of made the first part of the letter a little bit thicker than the rest of it just to add a little bit of uh, interest to the letters So I don't think I really mentioned it before, but I did um, use the Waverly antique wax to stain my wood round. Um, I just painted that on and then wiped it off with a baby wipe. So once I decided where I wanted to place my hive, I marked off that opening so that I could paint that black on the sign itself. So when I go to add my hive to the top of it, um, it will be black. And then I created a little swag just using some florals I had left over. The greenery is from Walmart. Um, the lavender is from Walmart. Those little yellow kind of plasticky roses, um, which are really pretty actually, but they're from the Dollar Tree. And then these three yellow roses in the front are from Michaels. Um, and so are these tulips. These purple tulips are from Michaels as well and the daisy that I add in the end here is from Michaels too. So I'm just going to glue it all together, um, make it look pretty and just kind of arrange it in a very aesthetically pleasing way. And I thought that this was really cute, kind of reminded me of like little wildflowers, you know, where you would see some bees collecting nectar. All right, so now I'm going to attach my hive to my sign. I am going to use a little bit of this um, super glue, wood glue from the Dollar Tree and also hot glue to attach my hive. And that will just make sure that it's nice and attached. Um, and if I hang this on my front door, the hot glue won't melt in the summer heat. Added a hanger and this is how it turned out. What do you think? So for this project, I saw the little gnomes from 
Walmart and I just had to grab one. They haven't been at my Walmart yet and I was just thought it was so cute. So again, the bee and the little honey pot that I'm using for, our, for this part of the project um, as well will be um, ones that I picked up from 24 Hour Craft. And then the gnome, of course, comes from Walmart. So I sectioned off his hat. I wanted to make his hat a little striped hat. So I just used my ruler there. I grabbed that ruler from Michael's. I love that ruler because it is see-through and it has grid lines on it up to two inches wide. So I think those are quarter, quarter inch wide um, stripes. And then I'm just gonna paint them gray and yellow. And then I'll paint his shoes the gray as well. I wanted my gnome to have a white beard, so I painted that with a Waverly chalk paint in white. And now I'm gonna go in with a fine liner paintbrush. Um, any paintbrush that's thin will work perfectly for this part of the project. It doesn't have to be any particular brush, um, but I'm just gonna add in some little gray areas just to create some interest and give the beard a little more definition so that it looks um, like more 3D, I guess, not so flat. So I'm just going to paint in all these little lines and that makes him look like he's got a gray and white beard. Now I'm gonna paint his nose and I'm going in with a peachy color, which you can choose any color you want for your gnome's nose. Now we're gonna start finishing up our gnome. I decided that I wanted to add some polka dots to his gray stripes, so I'm going to do that with a stylus. And anything I add on to my projects um, are just, you know, extras. You don't have to do them if you don't want to or if you don't like it. I just like all these little details on my projects. I think that it just kind of finishes it up and is just part of my style. So it's just really what I enjoy. Now we've got the little bee here. I am going to give him um, the gray and yellow stripes. I just used my pencil to mark off where I wanted his wings to be and then each of the stripes on the bee. So I'm just going to paint those in just like I've been doing everything else. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of highlight on his nose and shoes with the white paint marker. And I did the honey pot exactly the same way I did the honey pot in the first project. So I just painted it gray, added the yellow for the honey, and then wrote honey on the front. Next on his shoes, I wrote out save the bees in pencil. And now I'm just gonna go over it with my marker. Again, just adding those little dashes and dots for those little extra details.
Once I get all those little details finished, I'm going to just hot glue the bee to the gnome. I did use a popsicle stick underneath the bee where it was on top of the beard, just to give it a little more stability since there, you know, it would be kind of floating right there. And then I hot glued the honey pot to the front of my gnome. Now I'm gonna use this little wood piece. This was actually from one of those kits, like a car kit, the um, wood derby kits that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. I like to buy those kits sometimes because there's good little pieces of wood in there that you can use for other things. And this is going to be the stand for my gnome. It worked out perfectly and it was just the right size to make sure that this guy stood up. And here is a look at our gnome. I think he turned out just too cute. For this DIY, I'm gonna use one of the mini cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. These are so cute, and I've just been really impressed with what the Dollar Tree's had on hand lately. Um, but if you can't find this same one, you can check out 24 Hour Crafts because they have little mini wood cutting boards there as well. So now I'm gonna add some flowers to the front of my cutting board. I just picked out some buttons I had in my stash and I added a little bit of gray um, embroidery flask to the middle of them and knotted it off. Now I'm gonna go in with my black paint marker and I'm just gonna create the stems for my flowers. So I'm just doing this freehand um, if you want to you can go on to Pinterest and get some ideas for some stems but just you know a straight line and some leaves is all it's needed and then I'll just add a little bit of grass at the bottom and I'll go in and glue my flowers <laughs> to the stems now I'm going to write in let it and then that B I'm going to add so it'll say let it be that little bee is a button and I just cut off the back of it so that it would lay flat. And I'll just marker that in with my paint marker. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. I know this video is a little bit rough, um, but you know, we're getting through it and I am still recovering. And by the next video, I will be completely well. So now I'm gonna add some Baker's twine to the top of this, just a little bit right there, uh, gray and white, and the yellow and white, and I just knotted off the front. And here is a look at this project. I think it is so cute, I love it. So guys, that's, so guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure you go check out Lisa's channel. I know you guys are gonna love her if you don't know her already. She is an amazing crafter and such a sweet and nice person. And I hope you have a happy, healthy, and blessed day. And I will see you at the next video. Bye!